Y'all saying pay bills or pay all the bills? Pay bills. Pay bills. They be like, no thanks. I don't think a lot of women are qualified for a man to pay their bills. Like, y'all don't bring enough to the table for us to pay our bills. Oh, Lord. They'd rather say, I am the table than rather say than what they bring to that table. I miss when men used to protect, provide, and shut up. How dare you? Provide and shut up. Uh, nowadays it's and we miss when talking. women used to be feminine fit and friendly oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, but okay. that last that last part shut up protect why, why, why shut up wait a minute what now, the see, hell now see that shit pissed me the fuck off now you know damn well if a man said i miss the days when women used to just cook clean and shut up can you imagine the kind of backlash he would get bruh but see it's okay for you to say that because the very same men that you complaining about are the very same men that give you the freedom to be able to speak like that on a, on 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 men's platforms of all, of all places on top of that you can't make this shit up you can't make What's this shit going up on youtube it's your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe and if you saw the thumbnail, y'all already know what we're talking about. I'm going to go ahead and play this next clip. Then we're going to go ahead to the main event. Let's get it. Ladies, if I was a man in this day and age with a little bit of money, I would totally do you guys dirty and still sleep good at night. You guys make it so easy for them that I can't even hate on them. Like, I have to give them dab for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys place so much value on their pockets versus their mindsets that you absolutely deserve what you get. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If I was a man, I would pay all of your bills, take care of your children, get you nice and comfortable. And when you are nice and comfortable, I would bounce. I would completely ghost you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Now, first of all, I'm like, I cannot believe that woman is 40. I think she said she's 41, 42 years old. It just go to show you, man, black and Latin do not crack. She's half black and half Panaman, uh, Panamanian. Um, and I've reacted to her quite a few times, but I wanted to react to this particular clip because it goes in line with who we are reacting to per se. Um, a woman by the name of Shara Seven, I think. And from what I can tell, man, she just comes across as another Cynthia G or as y'all like to call her synthetic g i don't know where y'all got that from but that's hilarious um yeah so this woman pretty much is pushing the same agenda that's keeping a lot of these women single and apparently this is their new leader i'm like i think this woman has more subscribers on youtube than cynthia g does actually i think she has about 200 and or 200 or close to 300,000 subscribers if I remember right but that could be her TikTok count I'm not sure but from what I recall she has a YouTube channel too um if she does I'll make I'll make sure to tag her in the title but I want to read I'm going to show you some clips of her so that way y'all know who we're talking about but a lot of y'all already do but then there was a very strong response from a mother with a son that had a few words so we're gonna go ahead and let these clips play all right let's keep it moving let's get it if you're on a date and they're looking at another woman look at cars because a man can be cute and broke and he knows you ain't going nowhere but looking at cars is totally different oh my god look there's a bentley i wonder who's driving that you know that way he sees you're not looking at looks you're looking at money i mean yeah don't look at other men look at cars that'll get them i'm not bringing nothing to the table baby sprinkle sprinkle if you want a woman to bring something to the table go to ihop Go to the restaurant where you can tip her, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because if I bring something to the table, you're going to be mad because it's going to be another man who going to not ask me to bring something to the table. He's going to take care of the bill, them kids, and everybody else. And you, if you look broke. How do you ask men for money without feeling bad like this? Do you want to make me happy right now? Yeah, of course I do. I want to make you happy too. But later on. Well, what do you want? No, I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you yet. Come on, what is it? Then whisper in his ear like this. I want you to take me to the ATM and give me as much money as you choose. It's kind of a kink. I just want to see what you're going to give. <laughs> it's in black. Okay, let's go. Then you're going to say, no, never mind. You're going to tease him a little bit. You're going to say, never mind. How about 
the next time we see each other, you just bring it to him. There you go. It's a challenge. He already know he's gonna seduce him because you just whispered in his ear and you know what that do. <laughs> so you gotta break out of shyness. You gotta break out of shyness. Never take offense from a broke man's mouth. If a broke man is saying something, I mean, no one should take offense to it. They're in survival. They're saying whatever they gotta say to have a chance at survival, to have a chance at a woman that they can't afford, to have a chance at something that they can't afford or put their money towards, you know? So we can't really blame them for, for what they say and what comes out of their mouth because they're literally just in survival mode. That's why you shouldn't even just deal with them and ignore them and keep it moving. Don't sit there and argue with somebody in survival mode. They're trying to survive. You sit here comfy and cozy and with your little glass of wine and they stealing the Wi-Fi from the neighbor with an electric blanket and you sitting over here arguing with that dusty and you don't even know, okay? And they calling everybody simp because, you know, they sitting over there stealing Wi-Fi in an electric blanket because they ain't got no heat and calling us gold diggers, but it's literally just living in survival mode. So why would we take any of those types of men seriously? And they're mad because we don't want that. Well, <laughs> Next. So you need to let it be known that you are spoiled. Okay. Like when they say, oh. you know, when you get to know someone and they're like, they're like, oh, okay, so why are you still single? Or, you know, they always ask that dumb question. Why are you still single? Oh, I'm too spoiled. I'm very spoiled. I grew up getting what I wanted. I'm just very spoiled. And, you know, um, a lot of people aren't able to give me the same type of treatment that I was used to growing up. You know, I'm very spoiled. Can you handle it? Oh, what do you mean you're spoiled? Yeah, I mean, just, I've always had nice things, gone to nice places. And so that's what I'm kind of used to. And, um, you know, some people weren't and they just, they get mad at me or something or resent me because my parents, you know, were successful. It's not my fault. Let me do this special announcement from my son that he don't know about, but yeah, it's coming from him. It's a special announcement mm -hmm. through his mother. Um, my son will never, ever, be paying any of y'all daughter's rent, electricity bill, mm. um, phone bill, or any of that type of shit while he's dating your daughters. You understand? Because the expectation is that when your daughter reaches womanhood, you would have prepared her to be a woman and be able to take care of her damn self. Okay? Mm. There are stages of development. You come in this world as a girl, you develop into a woman, you hopefully become a wife, and then a mother and when you become a wife yeah that's when your husband hopefully will be the provider and take care of everything in terms of that household and all that kind of stuff mm. and that's exactly what i'm raising my son to be prepared to do but if you think that my son while he's a, a man in manhood if y'all think that my son is going to be walking around here dating women and paying their damn rents and everything else like he's somebody's gump Right. You must be crazy. The only way he would do it is if his father got into him and told him, hey, if they want to be treated like tricks, trick they You understand? And I don't want them to have to be like that. But know this, you better be telling your daughters that if they out here talking trick language, they're going to attract tricks. Trick language don't attract um, respectful men. Mm. And a lot of people have to understand that. You want to say, ain't no man like this, ain't no man. Well, it, who's you talking? It, what you looking for? If you're looking for somebody to meet you after the first week and pay your damn bills, guess what? I've met, you know, I've been with an NFL player that didn't do that. Right. Or for the first week. You know, folks ain't stupid out here. Smart right. individuals, but yet yeah, desperate men, you know, are. But is that what you want? You know, so just for the record, man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody's son taking care of your daughter when she in womanhood. When it's, she's supposed to be out here able to establish herself and pay for herself. And a lot of cultures, that's why when them girls hit womanhood, they don't leave their parents' house until they hit wife. Because mm. the father is still responsible for them girls until they hit wife. You with your sprinkle sprinkle think that while your daughters is out here supposed to be women taking care of themselves, that our sons are supposed to be taking care of them. Nah, you skipping a step, baby. If, if that's the case, keep your damn daughters home with you until they do find husbands mm. because my son will not be taking care of them while he's dating them okay who wants a woman that's a damn charity case and can't pay for her own nails or anything like that he will definitely be giving her gifts and everything but nah we ain't doing charity son right we ain't dealing with no needy women or men <laughs> all right okay she snapped 
And I can't disagree with anything that she said to be truthful. But I am starting to see a rise of more women clapping back at this share of seven shit. I want to say that's probably about the fourth or fifth chick I've seen in the last few weeks that have referenced this sprinkle, sprinkle. Because I remember there was a clip where one girl, she was like, yeah, that sprinkle, sprinkle going to keep y'all single, single. And I'm like, yo, there's some women out here that's clapping back at this woman, bro. I don't know, man. Like, it's it's already looking real bad for american women i can only imagine how much worse it's gonna get if they're following women like this and this is just what this is just what i've heard through the rumor mill her dude ain't even on the level that she's trying to push all these other women to find as far as husbands go so and it's like shorty said man the, on, the kind of men that they're looking for are suckers with money. Because any guy with money that know what he's bringing and got any kind of sense or, or knows his worth, he's not falling for this. He's not going to go for this. He's not going to tolerate or put up with any of this unless that woman is providing something that he can benefit from. Because if he if I got to pay for everything and including paying somebody to cook and clean while you just sit in the house and look pretty, what the hell do I need you for? It's like that Muslim guy said, if that's the case, I'll just marry the maid. <laughs> Let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.